Hello everyone, this video is in response to Scott Judd's uh, stretch res and cheating definitions uh, recent video. Um, you can find the link to the video uh, in the description down below. And uh, for anyone who's watching this, if you agree with me, don't go to his channel and harass him over it. Um, you know, I'd like to begin with, with stating that obviously, uh, Scott, you and I agree that stretch res is cheating and it's a really shitty thing for people to be doing. Um, However, where, where you're sitting there saying, well, you know, it's, it's whatever you just want people and you just want people to be honest about it, you know, rather than sitting there making excuses about it, 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 it is it comes off as hypocritical when you turn around and then you say, well, when it comes to survive with friends, it's not cheating because the dev said it wasn't cheating. It's cheating. There's no argument to be had here. It, it's nothing controversial. It's nothing um, really even debatable. It is an objective truth. It is that you're using an outside program or system to gain an advantage in a game where this system is neither designed nor intended to be. Even though it, you know, Survive with Friends was built, it was not built with the intention of people being able to communicate. Otherwise, there would have been an in-game comm system added along with it. And then... The game further would have been balanced, reasonably balanced, around four people in comms communicating with each other. So, I mean, right there, alone, the game's not built or balanced for this system, even though it was added into the game, to some degree. It was added to the degree that four silent players could play in the same match with each other. There's a reason why you're not allowed to communicate in Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> you know, so the whole, oh, people are using comms outside. When the devs are saying, you know, that they, when the devs are, are saying, oh, no, no, that's fine. That's not cheating. That's crap. And you know that's crap. And, and everyone, who know, everyone who hears it knows it's crap. The only people who are unwilling to say it's crap are the sycophants, the swift mains, who want to be praised and they want to feel like they're skilled at the game, like they somehow have a talent because they're cheating. It's the same thing with the co with the compet uh, competitive scene. They're cheating. Uh, everyone might be cheating, but the game within the competition isn't about who's the best at Dead by Daylight. It's about who's the best cheater, who has the best macro, who has the best uh, who has the best macro, which team has the best callouts, and you know which which team stretch res is, is uh, which team is using their stretch res to its uh, most uh, best advantage. It's not even a competition about playing the game. It's a tournament about cheating. How well can your team cheat? That's what it becomes, and that that translates into the rest of the game and it just ends up generating more toxicity more issues because then people are cheating and then you have people saying no -uh, the dev said i could do it so it's okay macros macros are the same thing and i got two friends who play the game who have carpal tunnel who use wiggle macros and i use wiggle macros at a normal speed because they feel they they even admit that yes the fact that they could get a perfect wiggle every time because of their macros means that yeah they, they they are cheating they are technically cheating it is excusable cheating because medically excusable cheating but it still gives them an advantage to some degree because they're able to do their wiggles perfectly or they're able to do certain actions perfectly when those actions were never intended to be done perfectly 100 percent of the time by every player so the fact that wiggle macro, macro, macros even exist, and they're, the, the worst part about it is there are people who use macros that actually allow them to wiggle faster. And I know because I've encountered it and I've seen it on video. The dev said macros are fine. So that just made it carte blanche for, or for, made it, uh, for people to go carte blanche and just flagrantly cheat with it. So yes, there are macros that allow survivors to wiggle even faster than normal. And this has become a normal thing, especially at high rank play. Oh my God. No, I, I, I don't even believe that there's a single, a, a single game. I would go as far as, as being able to say that with some degree of confidence that there's uh, almost every game I run into, there is at least one survivor using a wiggle macro that allows them to wiggle even faster. And I'll take that one step further. All those games that I run into tend to be a swift. And they're in that swift. 
I would say it's not often I run into someone who's using a wiggle macro who's in solo play. It's still cheating. It's all cheating. The the stretch res, it's cheating. The stretch res, the, the macros, the comms, all of it is cheating. It's cheating. Regardless of what the devs say it is, regardless of what the tournament hosts say it is, it's still cheating. It's sanctioned cheating, but it's cheating. And we need to like all I'm all I'm asking of you, and what why I, I'm saying it's your your whole position comes off as hypocritical is because you're sitting there saying, Don't make excuses for cheating, just admit that you're cheating and you're being really sweat you know, you're you're doing this to be really sweaty at dead by daylight of all games. Well, yeah, do the same thing about comms. Just admit that you're using it, and when you use it, you're also using it to communicate what's going on in game with the rest of your team which is therefore giving you an advantage you would not have otherwise just be honest regardless of what the devs say it's still cheating again it's sanctioned cheating but it's cheating no less i mean here, here, here's a good analogy for it if i if i were to you know if i were to be caught by my fiance banging her best friend she would walk in on me doing that i turn around and say and say to her, oh, no don't worry babe that's not cheating you think she's gonna buy that? Nah. You know what's gonna happen? What I'm gonna get is probably a baseball to the back side of the head. A baseball bat to the back side of the head. Let's be honest. It's still cheating. The cheating is cheating is cheating, regardless of whether or not it's just quietly allowed. Or even openly allowed. Just saying, oh yeah, 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 it's fine. It's still cheating. So even though, we, you know, I'm not asking you to go on some epic crusade here. What I am asking you to do, though, is just be intellectually honest about, you know, especially the, the survive with friends. Don't sit there and say, well, it's not cheating because the devs said it wasn't cheating. No, it's cheating. It's cheating. The devs could come out and say the sky is rainbow colors. It's just all rain, you know, rainbow colors and shifting all over the place. And honestly, it's crap. You know, it's crap. I know it's crap. We all know it's crap. Um, so when they come out and they say something that is objectively not true, even about their own game, even about the way they feel about their own game, it still doesn't, it still does not, it does nothing to basically overcome the fact, the, the objective truth. And the objective truth of the matter is that, yes, survive with friends in comms specifically, specifically comms, survive with friends is cheating macros are cheating stretch res is cheating lowering your game quality so you could see survivors in grass and bushes even though it's built in game is cheating people going to taking making it so they can gain an unfair advantage or an undue advantage in the game is cheating and because the game's not balanced around uh, macros or for, for survivors in comms or a stretch res, all of that is cheating. The cheating is cheating is cheating regardless of whether or not it's sanctioned. So yes, it is all cheating. And while we're being honest, that's the rule that, you know, let, let's, let's be clear. That's the reason that Netflix pulled the license for Stranger Things. It's because of the state of the game. And the reason the state, well, part of the reason the game is in such a, a, a terrible state, a state that would lead a license holder to pull their IP, is because of the flagrant cheating that is permitted by the devs. I mean, they hardly do anything about hackers. About hackers. I mean, really, do you think they're going to do anything about the, the, the other cheaters? The soft cheaters, if you will? The sanctioned cheaters? No, they're not going to do anything about it. And the and the reason you're going to find people supporting your side of it that say uh, the the statement that you said that it's not cheating because the devs said it's okay is because they're sycophants, because they're swift mains, they're not survivor mains. They're swift mains, and they want to feel good about themselves. That's the whole reason the devs permit the cheating in the first place to make people feel good, to make it feel like they're talented, to make it feel like somehow they're skilled at the game. You know, with their comms and their stretch res and their their, their macros. 
they're well faster than normal speed macros yeah 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 they're so skilled at using cheats in game that have been permitted nonetheless but they're so skilled at using cheats that that's that's what makes them good at a game so good they can go do tournaments to see who the best cheaters really are and yes i stand by that it's not some agreement from uh netflix and sony making their own little game streaming platform that isn't even speculated to be released until late 2022 it's not because the license just ran out clearly netflix is not happy with the state of dead by daylight and the state of which they're uh, they're uh handling uh demogorgon i mean really why do you think demogorgon went through some sort of uh update some sort of little change to his uh his abilities why he why do you think he got a buff in the first place someone said something because they weren't happy with it and what what would be one of the things that would affect negatively impact a killer's behavior oh i don't know permitting one side of the game and almost exclusively one side of the game to gain to engage in flagrant cheating so yes, flagrant cheating, in addition to the, the imbalance, in addition to the bugs, in addition to the spaghetti code, is why Netflix pulled the Stranger Things license. The state of the game is not good. And until the devs either get off, stop being lazy, which that's a problem, we all know they're extremely lazy. So unless they actually put in the work to fix their game, really fix the game, and also, they, you know, they're able to summon up the iridescent stones to admit to everyone that they messed up, which we all know their egos are too big to let them do that. You know, that, that's, that's how the state of things are going to be. And I mean, it's not about necessarily starting a crusade about this, but it's about just being honest. Honestly, Scott, if we're honest about that uh, if we're just intellect being intellect, uh, intellectually honest and we just simply say that yeah swift is cheating i mean i've i've played with swifts and yes it gives me a massive advantage i can go from rank 20 to rank one as a survivor with no problems but you know and that, that's as a solo survivor but even i have to admit that yes when i play in a swift even casually even just messing around it still does give me a massive advantage that I normally wouldn't have. It's just time we are intellectually honest about it. And if we're intellectually honest about it, it's going to remove the excuse. You're going to see a lot of bitter and toxic people, uh, mostly these swift mains, uh, coming out of the woodworks and saying, oh, no, it's not cheating. The dev said it's okay. No, no, it's cheating. It's sanctioned cheating. It's still cheating. You're still cheating. You're not good at the game. You're a cheater. And once you once we start putting that label properly where it needs to be, and we're doing nothing more than just being honest, just by being intellectually honest, that will do, that will on its own create enough pressure to get good change. You don't need to start a crusade. You just need to be honest. And you need more people being honest. And the problem with this game and with the community as, as a whole, and you know this, Scott, because you've probably seen it a lot in your own community. I, I know. I know I've I've seen some of the comments on your uh, on your channel. You have a lot of Survivor main or Swift main uh, viewers who are absolute dev uh, sycophants to the devs, and um, yeah, I mean, being honest, it's it's time we're just honest with them. So yeah, sorry to sound make it sound like I'm calling you out again. I don't think you're intentionally being hypocritical. I just don't think that you you're argument is well thought out and you know i think if you actually took some time with it you'd you know we'd we you'd agree with me that yes it's all cheating it's sanctioned cheating it's objectively cheating even though the devs say it's okay that that's the sanctioned part it is still objectively cheating and there's again no argument to that no dispute to that no controversy to that it just is what it is Anyways, for the rest of you guys, uh, and you know what, hey, Scott, if you end up ever seeing this and uh, <laughs> you feel like it, um, just do the YouTube things, uh, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell, give us a like, it really helps the channel out. Um, yeah, don't forget to check me out on Twitch and whatnot, uh, so I guess I'm going to see you guys either in the next discussion or uh, in the next gameplay video.